Dear students, let's now study about the efficiency of a rectifier. We know that a rectifier is a device in which when we supply alternating input, then this AC supply finally transforms into a unidirectional voltage across the load connected in the rectifier. Now in this situation, this AC will supply an equivalent power which will be proportional to the RMS value, square of the RMS value of current and as the output voltage which we are getting here is unidirectional, the power supplied to the output load will be proportional to the square of its average current because in case of a unidirectional voltage power will depend on the average value and uh, in case of bidirectional current, it will depend on the RMS value. So, in this situation, if we calculate the rectifier efficiency, this efficiency is given by the symbol eta, which can be written as power output by AC power input. In case of output power, we can call it DC power output or only power output because uh, current is flowing only in one direction in the output circuit. So, here uh, we can directly write AC input power can directly be written as P input as uh, I RMS square RD plus RL. Here RD will be the resistance of uh, the diode which is uh, transforming input power to output power. So, for input AC, the diode resistance and the load resistance both appear to be connected in series through which the current is transforming. So, we can write the input power supplied by the AC source will be given by I RMS square RD plus RL and uh, output power is supplied only to the load resistance, then this output power can be written as uh, I average square RL only. So, in this equation, if we find out the rectifier efficiency, then this rectifier efficiency can be given as the output power by input power. So, this will be I average square RL upon I RMS square RD plus RL. And this can be further simplified to I average square upon I RMS square divided by this RL can be taken in denominator. So, it will be 1 plus RD by RL. This is the way how we write the rectifier efficiency. Just keep this result in your mind. On the next sheet, we will discuss about the typical efficiencies of a half wave and a full wave rectifier. Now, if we talk about a half wave rectifier, then we know well that for a half wave rectifier, we can write the average current to be equals to I m by pi, which we already calculated and it's RMS value of current for output will be I m by 2 that we already calculated in previous sections. So, if we talk about the efficiency of half wave rectifier, this can be given by I m by pi whole square by I m by 2 whole square divided by 1 plus R d by R l. This is the expression I am using which uh, I have just now derived on the previous sheet. So, on calculation this will give us uh, 4 by pi square divided by 1 plus R d by R l. If we substitute the value of pi in this situation, the efficiency for a half wave rectifier will be equal to 0 0.406 by 1 plus R d by R l. Now, in this situation, for an ideal diode, we can write for an ideal diode, we can use RD is equals to 0 because current is only supplied for the forward biasing of a diode in a rectifier. So, in this situation, the value of eta on calculation will be 0 0.406 
or it can be written as 40.6 percent that is the efficiency of uh, half wave rectifier if an ideal diode is used otherwise we are going to use this expression where we need to substitute the operating dynamic resistance of the diode in the rectifier. Similarly, for a full wave rectifier also we can write, we already studied about its average in RMS currents as the average value of current in a full wave rectifier is 2 I m by pi and the RMS value of current in a full wave rectifier is I m by root 2. So, if we substitute about the efficiency, if we substitute these values in the efficiency of full wave rectifier, then this efficiency can be given by 2 I m by pi whole square upon I m by root 2 whole square divided by 1 plus R d by R l. On calculation, this will give us 8 by pi square upon 1 plus R d by R l. So, in this situation on substituting the value of pi, this will give us 0 0.812 upon 1 plus R d by R l. Now, you can see the efficiency of a full wave rectifier is twice that of the half wave rectifier and here we can write for an ideal diode, if ideal diode is used for making this full wave rectifier, we can take the dynamic resistance in forward biasing to be 0, which implies its efficiency will be 0 0.812 or 81.2 percent. Again, it is twice that of the half wave rectifier, but you need to just keep these efficiencies in your mind. One hour asked to be calculated or some numerical problems based on these are asked in different kind of problems.